Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to the brand new series of Digimon World 3. Digimon World 3 is a huge PlayStation 1 game that has been a part of my life since I was six, oh, seven years old. I cannot believe how long I've had this game. I got it for my birthday. I still have the video of when I got it from my birthday. Yes, taking on one of them old video cameras. It's kind of funny. And I have been wanting to play this game on my channel forever, but I never felt ready. I never knew how to make thumbnails and stuff, so I felt like, ah, uh, just don't do it yet. It's not time. It's not time. But now I think it's time. Uh, especially since we already did Digimon World 4. And no, I didn't do Digimon World 1 or 2 because they're completely different games based in their own realities. Digimon World 3 is based in its own reality as well. Oh, okay. TV's going off. This just in, International Police, SAP, have located the European HQ of the crime group AOA. Together with the army, they ra raided the headquarters at midnight last night and have arrested the leaders of the AOA inside the compound. Officials believe these arrests will connect uh, recent internet terrorism to the AOA. Oh wow, internet terrorism, how scary. That's something we live with every day. AOA, that's the group that did bad things with Digimon. I can't believe anyone would make Digimon do bad things. Hello, obvious friends. Thanks for waiting, Junior, and that's basically what they all both say. Well, she kind of makes fun of you, but still. About time, Teddy. And he's like, and why is Ivy here in the first place? You always let us uh, say that Digimon are for kids. Hey, I'm interested in Digimon online, okay? I, and I never said that I hated Digimon. Hey, come on, let's go. 1v1 me. Teddy, calm down. I'm going to punch this girl. Let's go, Ivy. Aw, oh, she's not going to let me. Junior, Ivy, come on. Let's go to the Digimon Online Center. Wait, oh, it's not in that store? Okay. I guess not. So now we're going to the Kusanagi City Online Center. So this is the Megami Online Center. Cool. Well, okay, that works too. Yeah, this is the Matrix system. It digitizes our ideas and thoughts and sends them to the net. Okay, interesting way to say that. I wonder how it works. I want to see the, uh, what makes it tick. Man, I d this game is bringing back so many memories playing it right now. And I've played it multiple times uh, since, I be uh, since I was a kid. But uh, when I was a really little kid, I could not beat this game. I didn't understand it. Some of the quests made no sense. So for all of you that had trouble with some of the main quests because it made no sense for the few of you that actually did get to grow up with this game, uh, I will help you get through them. Trust me, I've, I've gained a lot of knowledge since I've grown up. So, welcome to the Megami Online Center. This service is for the traveling into the digital world. Is this your first time playing Digimon Online? Hell no it ain't, but uh, uh, let's see. You'll have to choose your partner Digimon. Oh, the most important part of the entire game. Choose one starter pack, A, B, or C. Each pack has three types of Digimon. Alright, this is going to be the most controversial part. We have a part A, the balance pack, Kodamon, Redamon, Patamon. That's the pack I picked when I first played this game, when I was a little kid. B is the powerful pack, Monmon, Agumon, Ranamon. That's the game I played the second time I beat this game. And C is the maniac pack, Kumamon, Giamon, Patamon. This is the pack I picked when I was uh, just trying to mess around. Which of the three would you like? Okay, this is going to be tough. All right, what's, uh, what's up with you, Ivy? Did you already pick your Pokemon? Uh, Digimon? Oh, I am going to make that mistake so many times. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing a Pokemon series at the same time as I'm doing a Digimon series, so it's it's going to mess with my head. Just pick a pack of Digimon that you like. Exactly. I should just pick the one I want. So even though I have history with some and like some were fun to use, let me just pick the ones I want. Because if you don't pick the ones you want, it's going to ruin your life. Trust me. I do love all Digimon, though. But I do have certain favorites that I will be revealing right now. So let's figure them out. What are my favorites? What do I care about the most? The most. I don't know. I'll make a decision now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go ahead. Come on, Ivy. I'll, I'll pick a pack. Yeah, don't worry. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just let, you know, give me the selection screen. Without the selection screen, I'm not going to be able to do it. Thank you. All right, magical screen, here we come. Hardest decision of my entire life coming right now. Welcome to Digimon Online. We will begin the freaking registration process. There's a lot of talking, so I'm not going to read it through it. All right, Junior's actually a fine name. We'll go with Junior. Although I could be Cooper. You know what? 
You know what? No, no, no. It's a let's play. I'll have Cooper just so that I don't mix up my save files. Because I know I've used Junior before. And I've never used Cooper before. That's a... Uh, that's a future name. Alright, Cooper. There we go. Okay, the most important part. The packs. The balance pack is what I did first. Of this pack, I really love Kodamon and Redamon is one of my favorite Digimon. Of this pack, I really love Agumon and Renamon is one of my favorite Digimon. Monmon and Patamon, I like Monmon more. Of this pack, there's no Renamon or Agumon, but I did like using Giamon a lot. However, I don't care for Patamon too much and Kumamon is fine. He's cool. But personally, I'm going to go with the powerful pack for the fearless who think that offense is the best defense. Yes, Monmon, Agumon, Renamon. Here we go. These will be our Poke- or Digimon. Jesus, I'm gonna make that mistake so many times. Registration complete. Please head to the chamber room. Okay, Teddy Ivy, let's go to the digital world. Eh, no, 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 I'm out of here. Now that I have the pack, I want to get in there. I want to play some Digimon. And yes, you basically go into like a- a- I guess a deprivation chamber where all you could see is the screen. I guess that makes sense. Not a deprivation chamber, but whatever. It's a, uh, you're stuck in a ball and it brings you to the digital world. And in the digital world, every single player is connected, which is pretty cool. I like the idea. However, I don't know how much it would cost to be in one of these capsules. So if it was in real life, I'd be afraid to use it. I'd be afraid to get stuck in there. In fact, I think that's the plot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom game that we played. So I guess this game has the same plot, but False Bound Kingdom came out second. Digimon World 3 is a PS1 game. I think it's 2002. So, is old. Hell, it might even be earlier. I actually don't know. Ooh, cutscene time. Don't get used to these. Oh, can't go in there for some reason. Okay. Guess we're going up this hole now. Yamato, what the hell? I can read that. It said Yamato. Now that I'm playing this on a big screen and not an old school TV like I used to, Okay, logging complete, here we go. We have made it to Asuka City, the login room. I am born, fear me. I am here to destroy all Digimon. Wow, so this is the world of all Digimon online. Hey lady, I'm here to destroy all the Digimon, except my own. Cooper, welcome to Asuka server. Please retrieve your Digimon data at the lobby. Of course. Uh-huh, Digimon. Oh, I understand. I'll go right now. Heck yeah, I'll go right now. Maybe the game will even let me control myself after, let's say, 10 minutes of not being able to. Yay, finally! Alright, so this is Digimon. We can run. We can run uh, pretty fast, honestly. Like, it's it's a decent speed. Uh, you can talk to people around the server. It's pretty nice. I, can, I can't believe the Matrix server. Uh, there's plenty of people to talk to. A lot of people play Digimon online, and I'm not joking, this game is huge. Like, it's a PS1 game, and it probably will be one of the longer series on my channel. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Hello. Welcome. Here you can look at the pins to play the game. This type of data will be displayed by satellite. Gotcha. The thing about your satellite, is it manages your data. Yes, yeah, so that little ball above my head, it manages data. Yeah, I would want a Digivolve too. Digivolving is one of my favorite things. And, personally, I think this game is one of the best... Digimon games ever created, if not the best, because it actually gets Digi Evolution right. At least I think so. Oh yeah, I need to get my partner Digimon data. Okay, now that I've talked to them, all you have to do is talk to this lady twice, I believe. And then, yes please. I don't know why you have to talk to her twice, but you do. So, we're gonna go ahead and get our Digimon to come out, and they will work together with us. I will download the Digimon data from the satellite now. Please wait. All right, I'm finally getting my Digimon. I'm super excited. Hey, my friends are here. They took them forever. Hey, what's up? Well, I guess Ivy's not my friend, but Teddy is. Hey, what were you two doing? You're so slow. What? No, no, you're the fast one. Right, Ivy? Uh-oh. No, my name is Kale. Don't forget. Oh, great. I forgot. Yeah, just like how I'm Junior, but I'm, my name's Cooper in here. So she's Kale. Hi, Kale. I was too lazy. I'm still Teddy. Teddy's not a bad name. Oh, it's my Digimon! Monmon! 
Agumon. Renamon. All right, I got my Digimon. You guys ready to freaking rule the world? Man, and this is not a Game Boy game. I'm playing this on PlayStation. We're playing a console Digimon game. This is going to be so much fun. I fight good. Everyone's good. Let's go. Hi, Cooper. Let's all do our best. Of course you say that. Let's all aim to become world champion. Oh, we are going to become the champions. Don't you worry. That's basically like half the series on my channels. Hey, let's become a champion. Okay, I'm heading out. All right, let's spit up from here. Yeah, you don't actually get to go on an adventure with your friends. You just Your Digimon are your friends. And there we go. They're just going to follow on behind me. And yes, this is a game where your Digimon actually do follow on behind you. So it is going to be awesome to be able to see them running alongside us. Ho ho ho, I haven't seen you before. Are you new here? That would be true. Yeah, I just got my Digimon. Then I'll battle with you, boy. Tamer Genji, you're, uh, you're, you're really going to fight a new kid? That's kind of messed up. So yeah, let's have our first Digimon battle. Ooh, Monmon Mon versus Kwagamon? That Kwagamon's a freaking champion level Digimon. Why are you fighting me already? All right, I'm going to use Fight. You know, you can't see the string, but I just used a string to do that. Hopefully I get like half his health. Okay, not bad. I know it's a little weird. Our, our health bar is actually on the right, not the left. It's, uh, if you live in America, that's kind of weird for you. 60 damage. Oh, crap, Monmon. Mon, are you okay? Just go ahead and get that attack off. So in this game, the one thing you have to worry about is your speed stat. Speed makes it so that if you are too slow, your opponent will be able to have a higher chance of guarding against you. Guarding means they take zero damage. It is pretty brutal. But, you know, you just you, you work on your levels, you, you level up, you grind, and you won't have to worry about it. Yeah, I won. You're pretty good. You have potential to be world champ someday. Yeah, you bet I do. Yep, that's my dream. In order to do that, you should learn more about Digimon. You should visit the Digimon Lab before going outside the city. Digimon Lab, okay, I got it. And also, do you have a folder bag? I probably do, I just don't know about it. Okay, they'll teach you about it, now go on. Yay, can I finally go on my Digimon adventure? Oh, I'm going to the Digimon Lab, okay, no choice made. This game doesn't give you a lot of choices. Yeah, look at, they follow you, they're with me, my friends. And look how, like, clean they look. Like, this is an amazing sprite, so I might just take them and use them for the thumbnail. Gonna have to like angle them in a certain way, but it'll be great. All right, hello. We all teach about okay, teach me about Pokemon techniques, and this one teaches me about Digi Evolution. Uh, Digi Evolving in this game is super weird. There are a lot of evolutions you can get, and uh, yeah, give me some information about my Digi Evolutions. Okay, clues. I'll display them on your satellite. Kodamon can learn uh, Agumon and Vmon types if you train Machine Tolerance. That's not one of our Pokemon. Monmon, once it learns Ultimate, train it to Strength, Machine, and Wind Tolerance. Okay, so we need to train Strength, Machine, and Wind Tolerance. Kumamon, doesn't matter. Uh, Renamon, train Spirit or Strength and Defense. Okay, so Defense is weird, but Spirit or Strength, hell yeah. Patamon, not one of mine, don't care. Agumon, increase Dark Tolerance. Oh, hell yeah. That's right, guys. You could teach different type tolerances, and that gives you different evolutions. It's going to be fun. Uh, hello, old man. I am Dr. Kadomatsu, the leader in Digimon research. You can Digimon... Oh, you're Professor Oak. So, that's cool that we can do that here, but I want to go on my Digi adventure now, if that's okay with you guys. So, Digimon adventure, here we come. Let me make sure my Digimon are healed. Nope, Monmon still has that damage. So, I'm going to need to go heal him. Oh, hey, guys. I'll look around Asuka City for now, so you go ahead. Later. Yep. We're allowed to just go on our Digimon adventure, have fun, and I want to train up. Because when I was a kid, the one reason I, uh, one of the reasons why I didn't really beat this game was because the difficulty spike is unbelievable in the beginning of the game. Like, it is a super difficult game, don't get me wrong. Okay, you are the managers of the inn. Let me, uh, see if I can get some heals, please. Oh yeah, you have to talk to everyone twice in this game. It's kind of weird. It only costs 8 bits to heal every Digimon, so it's not bad. 24 bits in total. Here we go. Uh, yes, I would like to talk. So this is the save bot. Gardramon will save your game. I'm going to show you guys how to do it now. I probably won't save on screen after today, but uh, might as well show you what it's like. I'm going to go to slot 1. Slot 1 has no, uh, is a new memory card, so it should be fine. Yep. Let me create a file. There we go. Kind of froze there, but uh, it's an old game. I can't expect it to. Uh, I'll use the blue file because I believe that's what I'm going to use for the thumbnail. 
Uh, green's my favorite car, but blue looks best on this, so I'm gonna use the blue file. Plus, I might save over all of them just to make sure I don't have any Let's Play shenanigans happen, where stuff that is out of my control kind of ruins the game. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Should be fine. Should be fine. So, let me save this. Beautiful. And now that that's saved, I can get on out and do my adventuring. So we're fully healed, the game is saved, and you want to save the game pretty often because let me tell you right now, if your Digimon die, you don't go back to the Pokemon Center, you are dead. The game is over. It will send you back to the title screen. That is why it was such a hard game for me as a kid. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna, uh, that's, that doesn't mean I gave up. I played this game a lot. And even though I didn't beat the game when I first got it, I, I think I beat it like seven years later after retrying it. Um, I, I think it was 14 when I first beat the game, but I was like seven when I got the game. So it's, it's rough. It's a rough game. Still lots of fun though. So let's go to the first area of the game, the central park. Now the central park has a lot of things you can do. There's Leomon's training gym, which you cannot do until you level up your, uh, your Digimon. So when that happens, I'll show you. And, uh, there's always a chance for a wild encounter to happen. So as long as you're here, a wild battle could just happen. And you need them to happen because you need to trade in your Digimon. So I'm going to show off a few of them and then I'm going to do some grinding because if you don't grind in this game, you don't win. Simple as that. If you try to leave this area and go to a new area, I guarantee you the Digimon are way too strong for you and they will kill you and you will get a game over. Not even joking about that. Oh crap, we got ambushed. Ambush means your opponent's going to get to attack first and it has other implications, but since uh, it's early game, they don't matter at the moment. So I'm not going to talk about them. I'm going to wait till they come up later because they will. This game is known for being uh, is for being super cruel. So unlucky things are bound to happen all the time. So Mon Mon was able to do good damage to Kunamon, but since Kunamon was able to attack us first, we're going to struggle in training. Yep, Mon Mon's already about to die. So leveling up Mon Mon and training him is going to be the hardest thing to do. Oh my God, he couldn't even beat a Kunamon. Okay, so Kunamon's going to beat Mon Mon. That sucks. Don't worry, Mon Mon, we'll get you some training. But for now, we're gonna have to train someone else. So I guess Agumon will be the first one we train. Every time you switch out a Digimon, they tell you all your stats, which is very helpful. So first things first, Agumon, get on out there and kill this thing. Get, get revenge for our Mon Mon. I would say Mon Mon's best things are attack and defense. Agumon's best things would be all round, really, but uh, I would focus attack and uh, Different resistances, spirits, everybody needs speed. No matter what, give them all speed. And then Renamon, I'd love to give her spirit, speed, and wisdom. But apparently I'm supposed to give her defense too, so I'll do that too. Alright, now that I know Mon Mon's kind of in danger, I won't keep him up front. Yeah, it takes little menus to do everything. So I'm going to put Mon Mon in the back. And then we're going to do just some, just a little bit of training. Don't worry, today's episode might be, feel a little bit basic, but I want to get some battles in so you guys can see... The battling system. Uh, there is no catching Digimon in this game, but there are ways to obtain other Digimon in this game. Personally, I'm going to stick with my favorite three here. And I'm going to try and get almost, not all their evolutions, but a lot of their evolutions. That way you can see what they can become, how to get those evolutions, and it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great time. So let's just focus now on running down the streets and seeing what's going on. Okay, so it took a while to find this Digimon. Hopefully it's not an ambush wasn't an ambush, so we're just going to attack it. Alright, little scratch attack, not bad. Yeah, Agumon hits harder, okay, good. Agumon hits harder than Mon Mon, so that's, that's good to know. Oh, 59 damage, let's try that again. Not bad. Also, all your uh, Digimon should start out with a tech move. Personally, I like, I, I like to spam them in the beginning, I just haven't been doing that. I should have done that for Mon Mon. So, level 2 Agumon, not bad. Now that he's level 2, I'm going to try focusing on my other Digimon, which is over here. Let's uh, let Redamon get a level. And then Momon will get a level 2, but that'll probably be off screen, because I'm not going to make you guys watch me go heal him, train him, yada yada. Although, I probably should show you guys something else before we continue. But, right now, it's good to grind, because you need to grind out some money as well. Money is very important in this game, guys, and I mean very important. And the only way to get money is mostly through wild battles. Digimon is known for mostly being wild battles with some trainer battles. That's how it was in Digimon World DS. 
That's completely what it was in Digimon World 4. And this game is no different. So hey, look at that. Is that Tapermon? Yeah, Tapermon. I like Tapermon. So we are going to use our Diamond Storm, which I actually think Tapermon can resist pretty well. But it doesn't matter. It's still going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, I love it. Every time you use a special attack, they have a cool animation. And I mean every single one has a cool animation, so it's awesome. Oh my god, Renamon just one-shot it. That's why you should use your tech moves, but MP does not restore unless you go to the Pokemon Centers, which you have to pay for in this game. They're called inns. Yes, you have to pay for them. That sucks, but what are you going to do? Money's important, like I said. So I want to give Renamon one more fight, and then I'll show you guys the other area. Wee, wee, I'm running. I love it. Look at them. Look at my Digimon. They just follow right behind me. Oh, and every time you change the order, it changes who's uh, the order of what they look like. So now Renamon's in front because Renamon's in front of the party. So it's really obvious to see where they where they place in the party. Really cool touch. Really cool game. I cannot wait to get into the meat of it. Like I said, though, the beginning is mostly grinding. And yes, you have to grind in this first area. Recommended level from, from me? I would say grind up to level 5 in this first area before you even try to start your adventure. Because if you don't, your adventure will end very quickly. You will get a game over. Because you could find random Digimon in the other areas that are way stronger than they should be. And I mean way stronger. Like, they will murder you. Like, I'm, I'm talking di like rare Digimon. Rare Digimon that will just randomly appear that beat the crap out of you. So, when we get to that point, we will, uh, I'll show it off. First things first, though, a Suka Bridge. Going all the way back into this town because I want to show you guys something very important. Something that I think makes the game way easier. And, uh, yeah. First, go to the item shop. Item shop's pretty good. Now, the smith... Oh, this is the smith shop. Uh, same thing. I think there are items in here. Yep. Okay, so this guy, you buy weapons from him. Accessories from him. Items from him. I want items right now, so wizard mon, please give me some items. Uh, weapons are uh, just power up your Digimon stats. They're pretty important. So power charge is what you need. These heal your Digimon by 500 points. Buy as many as you can. I can buy six. This will help you with grinding. I also recommend life discs so you can revive your Digimon in battles. Revive disc doesn't revive them. I know it's weird. Life, life disc does. So now that I've shown you guys the item shop, what we're going to do, which is really weird, but trust me, it's necessary. I'm going to grind. I'm going to go grind in the very first episode off screen. Very weird for me to do that. I'm not going to do any new battles. That's why it's okay to do it off screen. It's those two Digimon, Kunamon, or yeah, it's the, the weird, the weird Caterpie looking thing, Kunamon, or Weedle looking thing. And of course the uh, Tapermon. I'm just going to grind off them until I hit level five. Once I hit level five, oh no, I can't even stay at the end. I don't have any money. Well, whatever. I'll go grind. Uh, once I level 5, I will come back and I'll be like, hey guys, look at what happens when we're level 5, yada yada. So, see you guys in a second. Let me just give you guys a peek. I'll go over here. Just to, just to make it a little more interesting for you. This is the Wire Fortress, or Forest entrance. Nothing crazy over here, just a uh, random po Digimon we're going to run into. And, oh, it's Tapermon. Okay, yeah, this is the weaker one. You can definitely run into a rare, rare po uh, Digimon here that are deadly to you, but yeah, you can still run in stuff like Tapermon, and you shouldn't have trouble with them. And they should yield the same experience. I don't think these are different level to uh, Tapermon. So, five experience is all we're getting from you. But you know what? I might as well be a little bit more ballsy. Why not? Couldn't hurt. I mean, it could, but I don't care. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Ah, uh, Mitch. You feel great. Good for you, Mitch. I feel confused, Mitch, personally. Confused as to seeing where these Digimon are. I can keep going in. There's nothing too spooky. I just don't want to keep... Yeah, I don't want to go that far. Just in case. Just in case. I ain't going that far. Come on. There we go. Still another Tapermon. Wow. That's not... Uh, that's not scary in the least. Diamond Storm. Beautiful. And when we level up, we'll be learning more techniques as well. But since we're only level 4 right now, obviously we haven't learned Jack Squat. Well, I'll say Squat. I don't want to say the other word. Alright, Wire for Forest Entrance. Maybe you're just not enough. Maybe we'll, we'll peek our head even farther in. 
As dangerous as this sounds, I'm going to peek in just a little bit farther. Just to see what, the, what this game can offer. I like that they had the freaking yellow, the R RBG cables here. Or the RB Yeah, the red, blue. Oh, it's Betamon. Betamon is a rookie level Digimon, so it's nothing too scary. But it does do more damage. And I believe re wild Betamon do no special attacks. As you've seen, all the Digimon we've fought so far have only been using basic attacks where they say attack. But Betamon, I think, knows how to use a special attack. It won't get to because level 4 Renamon's way too fast and strong. But that's good. Oh, 10 experience for that fight. Nice. Hey, who knows? Maybe I will train over here. Just to get some little experience. Hey, there's the red cable. I remember when I was a kid, I never even had to plug in the red cable because I had a TV that didn't have that port. And the yellow and white did just enough. Hi, mate. I'm Ken. Okay, you're from Sydney. Nice to meet you, from person from Sydney. You're Catherine, right? I don't remember. All right, what's up here? Hey, an item. Oh, a buckler. Okay, that's actually really useful. That's, uh... Let's see. We're going to go into items. We're going to... Oh, not what I wanted. Nope, nope, nope. Not what I wanted at all. We're going to go into... Well, actually, I think a buckler is an armor. Yeah, we're going to... Yep, it is. We're going to give this to somebody. How do I equip items? Probably back here, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, under status. It has to be under status. Yeah. All right. Status. I'll give it to, let's say, Mon Mon. All right. Let's see. Equipment. Probably for the body. No. So for the right arm. Yep. Oh, wait. I can't give you a buckler. It's a small shield. So you can't hold a shield, huh? That's a shame. What about Agumon? Can you hold a shield? You can't either, huh? Oh, wait. Le light and small shield left. That's why. It has to be on the left side. Okay. As awkward as that is, it has to be on the left side. Yes, equipment can be that picky. Alright, we're going to give it to Mon Mon. Make Mon Mon a little bit tankier. Since he was the harder one to train in the beginning of the game. But there you go. Westwire Fortress. We got some experience. Or, I mean, we got, we got an item to put on our Digimon, which will help out. Betamon, the 10 experience yielder. Come here. Just going to use my storm on you. Luckily, this guy doesn't resist. I guess Diamond Storm would be ice. You would think he would resist ice since he's a water Digimon, but maybe Renamon's just that strong. So, 10 more experience. Holy crap. Level 5 requires a lot of experience. My gosh. Let me just zoom ahead. And see what we can find. I remember you. You're Sydney. Gotta be something in here. I think this is the exit. Yeah, we're not going to go through the exit. 10 experience is plenty. Like, no lie. 10 experience. Oh, crap. It's Kawagamon. That's a little bit stronger of a Digimon. It's faster than Betamon, so it has a higher chance of evasion. Uh, its attack stat is higher, so it's going to hit harder. Renamon isn't exactly physically defensive, so she doesn't want to get hit by Kawagamon. And won't have to because her... It's, oh, just enough. That was probably just enough to kill it. All right, what is he? 11 experience. Ooh, and level 5 for Renamon. Digi evolution learned. Yes. Now when you hit level 5, your evolutions are possible. So, now that Renamon's level 5, she can go into champion form. In order to do that, you got to go to status, just like we did before. It's going to take you to this menu over here. Go to Renamon. Go to C Digivolve. And then here, you want to click on it and go to Battle Digivolve On. So, I know that's weird. When I was a kid, I didn't really figure that out until, like, the second year I played this game. So, yeah, the game's really hard when you don't know that. But there you go. Now, I, whenever you send in Renamon, she will automatically be evolved into Cubimon. Uh, but you have to turn on Battle Digimon like I just did right there. All right, there we go. There it is. That's a Kuwagamon. That guy should give us a lot of experience. I'm hoping for 11. We're going to use Swing Swing just in case. Yeah, I feel like we didn't need to, but still nice to use. 125 damage. Okay, here he comes. Let's see how much he does to us. 56. Okay, does even less than Betamon. Good. That is good for us. Now we can get our shot in and be an easy kill, hopefully. 
Looked easy to me. Quagamon's out of the battle. And that 11 experience will be used to get us to level 5. And give us Mon Mon's evolution of Hookmon. Hookmon will be what Mon Mon can evolve into. It is going to be super useful. Uh, again, I want to remind you all to make sure you put on the battle evolutions. Let me show you real quick. I know I already did once, but it's good to do it again. So to make sure Mon Mon starts the battle as uh, Hookmon, you want to go to C Digivolve. You want to go to Hookmon. And you want it to turn Battle Digimon on. There we go. Now that it's blue, you know it's on. And the reason you need to do that is because you need to be, uh... Uh, you need to be that Digimon in order to gain its level. Because Monmon and Hookmon, its evolution, actually have their own levels. I know it sounds weird to think of it like that, but they do. Alright, we're running into something new. What's it? What are we running? It's Kawagamon. Okay. Wagamon, you're going to give us all the experience we need. Agamon is so close. So close to his evolution. He wants it. I want it. We all want to see it. Trust me. Probably not going to see it this episode, but we all want to see it at least. See that it's possible. So our battle is won. 11 experience. 190 gives us our level up and we get Greymon. Yes. That is an evolution everybody can knows and loves. So we might actually get to see it this episode. So we're going to go to status. And we're going to go to our Agumon. And see Digi Evolution. Uh, well, not what I wanted. Uh, battle Digivolve on. And now, whenever a battle starts, we will be Greymon. Before I end off today's episode, I know it's uh, been a long one for a first episode, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to go to that Leomon training gym. Because after you level up your Digimon, every time they level up once, they get 5 TP points. 5 TP points is basically 5 training points. So what you do with those training points is you go to Leomon and he will train one of your stats up to an extra uh, an extra bit. So now we're going to see our new Digimon, Greymon. Yes, that is Greymon and Greymon is going to take on Tapirmon. It still says Agumon on the name, I know that's super dumb. It, it's awful. I don't know why they didn't change it. Probably because all the other names didn't fit in the health bar. But it's okay. Agumon is Greymon. Both Agumon and Greymon get experience when you use Greymon. So you can use any evolution and Agumon will still get experience. So don't worry. But you won't get experience for Greymon if you just use the Agumon form. So you have to use Greymon's form to get, Greymon or to get the evolution again. So let's go all the way over here. We're at the training gym. Yes, I would love to work out. So we're about to see all of our Digimon stats. We'll start with you. So Agumon has a lot of spirit and a lot of attack. However, his speed is so low that I'm afraid he's going to get blocked sometimes. So I'm going to give him extra training for this. I always like to use 10 TP, which we, uh, I got for leveling up twice. I already did it when they got to level 3, so don't, don't get confused. Uh, I'm going to give them him some speed because I hate whenever they evade. And trust me, it happens a lot. So that was a fail training. You would get up to three of them. However, you get three successes, you get a bonus one. So since we already had a fail, that's not going to happen. All right, two successes, we get 30 extra speed. Training is super important in this game. In fact, you always have to do it. Training is too valuable. So Mon Mon, your best stat is attack, and your speed is pretty high, so I don't need to train you in speed. Um, Honestly, I might want to just give you more attack. Yeah, I'll just give you more attack. Okay. Here you go, Monmon. Mon. Gets a punch in and a shooting. Yep, that was a success. That's a failure. Damn it. And that's a success. Okay, cool. So you're not always going to get lucky, but sometimes you do. And then Renamon. You're great with spirit, great with speed. Your wisdom's pretty good. Your attack's kind of low and your defense is awful. Um... Personally, I don't care about you having awful defense. I just want you to one-shot things. Seeing as your speed's already that high, I think I'm going to give it to your spirit. Yes, let's give it to your spirit. Even more spirit is good for me. I might train wisdom too later. So, Renamon, come on. Beautiful. She was enlightened. Beautiful. She was enlightened. Oh, nope. Failure. Damn it, we got so close. She fell asleep before she can get in line in anymore. But that's good. We got all of our trading points up. All of our Digimon can now evolve. And next episode, we will get into the meat of the game. We will actually go do story stuff. It won't just be about grinding. So I want to thank you all for watching. And see you all in the next part. Bye-bye.